Hello and welcome to MCC Today. A big shout out to some of our new uh, viewers. We have someone from Perth, Australia. We have someone from Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, and we have someone from Tumsuba. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. On today's show, we have Ms. Leanne Motes, Ms. Jennifer Whitlock, and Ms. Loretta Chislam. It is going to be a great show. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined. I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings. And today we have one of our favorite people, or one of my favorite people, it is Loretta Chislam. Chislam, not Chislam. Loretta. Loretta. <laughs> One of my favorite, Loretta Chislam, who is a lifelong learning coordinator here at Meridian Community College. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent, and you? I'm doing well, Great. I'm doing well. So what's been happening? We have we had a lot happen in our area. This semester's theme is finding your wings. I like the theme. And we are finding our wings. Okay. Uh, we have jump started this semester off with our classes which have included our hair braiding class, okay. our stained glass class, and also our cake decorating class, and our ballet class is for this semester. Now, this is, these are not classes for credit. No. These are classes for just a, 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 some extended learning. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. And what other kinds of things do you offer? We also offer um, cooking classes. Okay. We have three cooking classes. We've already had one. We also offer um, our cookie swap we're having a semester. And what I also, is, uh, what, what is, is a, a cookie, cookie swap? swap? I like that. A cookie swap is where different people, that they're really good at making a type of cookie. They bring their cookies and they swap their cookies and recipes for other persons that are in the class. Okay, okay. So you need to come. I, I do, definitely. <laughs> How many of these classes have you actually taken? This semester, uh, I've been to all of them. Okay. Not that I can do ballet, but I have been to all of my classes because I'm trying to get a relationship with the teachers and also to find out how are people find out about our classes and also seeing what the students are interested in. Why do you think it's important for uh, people to take continuing education classes? Well, I'm going to give you a personal experience. Okay. Uh, when my daughter went out to college, uh, we were very close and I had that emptiness syndrome. Mm -hmm. So I lived in Jackson. I got involved in a cake decorating class and a flower making class and it kind of filled in that spot but also at the same time I learned more about Loretta mm -hmm. and some talents and skills that I didn't know I had and also it gave me an opportunity to fellowship with other people and just to move my interest to another level. And I mean a lot of these it's just it can help you relax like you can go to take a cake de decorating class you know you have a, a just a very stressful job mm -hmm. that's one way to just kind of unwind cake decorating or right cookie swapping or water aerobics water aerobics yes. or ballet I'm just curious about the ballet how how is it true ballet that they're learning is it true ballet I'm just saying <laughs> it is okay. um, our instructor is class a um, she offers classes for uh, children from six always till they get out of high school. Okay. Now we do not have a waiting list for this program, but we have no problem filling this program because our students come back every year. Okay. So. How much does it cost? You would ask how I much it costs? I would ask. Money, 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 money. <laughs> That's like. Okay, our classes are for ages six and up is for 175. Okay. For um, our point class, it's $225. Okay, and how long do these classes typically last? Okay, these classes are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they are, let me see how many weeks, 14 weeks. Okay. So um, they meet over at the gym. So Tuesdays and Thursdays mm -hmm. at the gym here at Meridian Community yes. College. Yes. And how long uh, for on Tuesday, say it's an hour and a half class, a couple of hours? It's an hour class. Okay, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays for 14 weeks. Yes. Okay. 
Excellent. And uh, how do you sign up for these classes? Okay, so there are several ways that you can uh, sign up for our classes. You can call okay. um, our number, which is 601-482-7445, and you can speak. Say that number again. 601-482-7445. Okay. And Becky and Courtney will be happy to help you register over the phone. Okay. Or you can come down to Workforce Development which is right across the street from Lee's Donuts. Okay. Come to our front counter and you can do registration in person. Okay, can you do it online? No, but we're working on it. We're so. working on it, so hopefully soon you'll be able to do that online. Okay, I don't know if I can say soon, but we're working well, on it. Okay, okay. Do you have any other classes that you know about that, that you know people might be interested in? Sounds yes, like we've got a good offering, but yes. anything else coming up? And one thing that we try to do is partner with um, our community partners okay. and allow them to use our space and be able to help the community with some of those um, needs that they have. Okay. So one class that we have coming up is our Navigating Family and Partner Relationships um, Seminar, which is going to be held October 10th at our Tom and Delano Center from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Okay, and who's sponsoring this? This is sponsored by Meridian Community College, Infusion X, and also Weems Community Mental Health Center. Okay, and what, does, what are they doing with this? They say, say the title again. It's called Navigating Family and Partner Relationships. Okay. And they will be um, discovering, the, they will be talking about the four horsemen of relationships, okay. healthy, romantic, and family relationships, and also mental health issues related to um, healthy relationships. Because you know no one has any problems with relationships nowadays, right? I don't no know No issues at all. <laughs> no so we, maybe you'll have quite a few maybe people Maybe I need show to be up. there. <laughs> <laughs> now how much does it cost to, for this that? This is free. Free. Do yes. you have to call and register? Yes, you have to call okay. and register on um, the Workforce Development. That same number I gave you a while ago, which is 601-482-7445. Okay. We can get that registration done for you. Okay, and so you don't have to pay, and it, you said it's on October 10th? Yes. And it is from when to when again? From 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Okay. Well, it has been a pleasure for you to be here today. I hope you come back. You know, will you come back when you have some future offers? Or just come back and let's schmooze. And I'm going to bring you some coffee. Oh, come uh, back. please. Well, Miss Loretta, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. We'll be right back. Susie, we're so excited to introduce what we'll be doing for the Lauderdale County School District Play. I am excited to be a part of it this year. And to celebrate, I've brought a special guest to help us announce it. It seems he's a little late. Do you want to build a snowman? I do! <laughs> And today we have Miss Leanne Motes. Miss Leanne is the uh, Campus Life Coordinator here at Meridian Community College. And how long have you been in that position? It will be three years in January. And just kind of tell me some of the stuff that you get to do. Because you do a I'm lot. A, I do a lot. Because um, I saw you the other night at uh, the uh, Meet the Eagles. Meet the Eagles. Yeah, he yeah. handing out popcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. but Pretty much anything that's not academics or athletics. Okay. Blood drives, homecoming, beauty pageants. Um, my College Cares, which is a big one. Uh, pretty much anything, like I said, that's not academics or athletics, it falls in my wheelhouse. And you are out, uh, you also, any kind of club or organization on campus? Oh, yes, yes, I didn't think about that. On the campus? <laughs> yes, uh, just You're in like, charge I forgot, of I forgot what all I'm doing. <laughs> coordinating, coordinating all the clubs, make sure they're not overlapping anything and all the correct approvals. We do intramural sports. Okay. And I manage the Quave Student Life Building. Okay. Tell us about the Quave, just the, the Quave the Student Quave Life Building. The Quave is a, a fantastic building. It it's really is. Students really, nice. really, really love. They can play pool, ping pong, watch TV, listen to music, go out on the back porch, study, eat, whatever they need to do to hang out. Um, we're open every day from 8 to 6. It's free for MCC students, faculty, and staff. They just scan their ID when they come in. Okay. Now we have something important coming up soon. My College Cares. My College Cares. What is that? It is a day of service where we cancel classes. We close the college right. in the morning. And faculty and staff sign up to be team captains to supervise students going and doing all kinds of things, volunteer mm -hmm. work. We have... Um, 82 locations this year and over 1,200 students signed up already. So, so what kind of things are, are, are the I students mean, it, doing? It's a really big uh, area. They might be reading to students, painting, planning things, cleaning, um, 
cleaning school buses. We have our dimensions groups that are going to sing at several nursing homes. Our guitar classes are going to play at several nursing homes. Um, we have three random acts of kindness that, that I, I really like. Um, they do one for police officers, mm -hmm. do one for firefighters where they honor them with some type of meal or goodie bags or something just to show our respect and appreciation for them. And then we have um, random acts of kindness for the homeless, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which is where we take small toiletry items and different things and, and bag those up and, and take those to the people uh, in the community. Well, you know that one's the one that's near and dear to my heart. That one's near and dear to Lowell. You are the, the supervisor and instigator of that, and you do a fantastic job. And every year, the students, that one fills up right away. Well, they really, really we, like to do that. It's, I think it's something important to mm -hmm. do. Uh, and, and why do you think it's important for us to have this day of, of service? Well, it's important that we're invested in our community, mm -hmm. first off. But it's also important that the students learn their role as they mature and as they're going out into the, the real world, the grown-up world, that they have a responsibility to help those around them. And this is a way to expose them to that and um, under a good supervised direction. And that gives our faculty and staff also an opportunity to give back. And it's just a really good thing. They can, um, like I said, we close the college. We close mm -hmm. that morning. And everybody just really seems to enjoy it. We'll, we'll do they some really things do. on campus. We'll do a lot of trash pickup on various roads and different things. Uh, a you lot of clean reading school to buses students. And say clean school buses. I um, remember <clears throat> when uh, we first started this many years ago, and I went to one of the uh, local. It was in the first grade, and I was reading to students, and that was one of the just one of the best experiences I think I've ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, you sitting there, and those students, they were just eating it up, and they loved the they idea. Look up to now they loved the well. I, you know, I'm, I was the college teacher, but they loved the idea of these college students coming in, and you could just see them, mm -hmm. the, their eyes lit up, and it was it was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And they thoroughly enjoyed being read to by these yeah. by these. Our students. ladies and men's basketball team are going to Southeast Elementary, oh. and they're going to read to. They're going to end up reading to all the kids, and I'm going to encourage them to wear like their uniform tops and stuff because that's a role model for other kids. Mm -hmm. The kids can look up and say, hey, I, I can be like that one day. I can be that, you know, get a bigger education and do something and come back and, and be the one that gets to read to the kids, you know. So and I think this important. has kind of grown from when we first started it too, don't you? That it's gotten, it, has it gotten bigger every year, do you think? Or what, what's your it feel It hasn't gotten it? smaller since I've been okay. here. <laughs> uh, there, there was a time period that they did it for, for several years um, and then it stopped and we had an organization bring it back as, as PTK brought it mm -hmm. back as their uh, big event for their organization and it's just kept going. Uh, Dr. Hubner is really behind it. He he really likes the idea of us you know giving back and and so. Now what day is this? Forward. It's is, Tuesday what? October 22nd. Okay mm -hmm. and on that Tuesday all that we will have no day classes Correct. on campus but the we will have will night classes. At two. If, classes you know we'll resume it too. Okay. And um, so it'll really the college will just be closed and everybody will have their assignments. Okay. Now you already have you already have all of the assignments, all of that all of that's out there. Tomorrow you don't need is the any deadline other... for the students. So okay. We just have just a handful. We've already had sixty eight people sign up to give blood. That's another area that okay. they can do is to Excellent. give blood. So. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And with with random acts of kindness for the homeless, we donate toiletries and uh, socks and gloves because it, we are starting you know, to get into colder weather. I know it's a hundred and something degrees at the moment, but, <laughs> but it couldn't be tomorrow. Yes, uh, you know. So just and we try to have you know bags for the homeless, these toiletries and gloves and socks, and uh, uh, so that hopefully they can you know uh, mm -hmm. be a little bit better prepared for uh, winter coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, listen, I want to thank you for being here today. I know you came in on your day off oh. <laughs> for this, so I, I'm super impressed. Uh, but I know we're going to have a great uh, My College Cares Day. We are. You know, we are so going to have you a know. really good day that day. Okay. Well, will you come back and see us again? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thanks. We'll be right back. Looking for a better future? Meridian Community College can take your education to new heights. Join us for the Eagle Experience and see the view from the top. Tour around campus, hear from our award-winning students, talk with instructors from many of our incredible programs, and find out what it's like to be an Eagle. Join us Friday, October 25th at MCC. Learn more and pre-register at www.meridiancc.edu. Meridian Community College, find your wings. 
And we are lucky enough to have today a person I've known for 14 million years, Miss Jennifer Whitlock. Now, Jennifer, what is your uh, 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 title? I'm the Director of Adult Education. Okay. And what do you do? We work with those students that are coming to get their high school equivalencies, um, English as a second language with their, your people in our community that are wanting to learn English, literacy students who are wanting to learn to read, and just students who are wanting to just improve on their basic skills. Okay, and uh, how do you register for, for your program? We register every Friday morning at 9 o'clock. Okay. We do some registration during the week, just periodically during the semester, but most people know that we register at 9 on Friday, so they come at 9 o'clock Friday mornings, and we start the process. It's a lengthy process. Okay. They have to do assessments, and but we do orientation, so they'll know about the campus, they'll know about what we do, and um, then we assess them. So it takes a couple uh, days to get it all done, but yes. So you have open enrollment, and then they're in the program, mm -hmm. and you never know exactly how long it's going to last, right? Right. We do our classes, um, we call them sessions, okay. and we start a session. For instance, our next session is going to start October 1st, and it will run to the end of the semester okay. um, so because the sessions last from six to seven weeks. And within those sessions, we do several things. One of the main things that we do now besides, most people know us, they call us GED. Right. Although there are several ways to get a high school equivalency now, the GED test being one of them. Okay. There's another. There's two other tests that we're um, we're uh, eligible to administer. It's called High Set, and then the others called TAS. They're a little bit cheaper than the actual GED, which is $120. Okay. The High Set is 85, and the TAS is 89 for all parts. How long? I mean, how much money does it cost for the student to come to take these sessions? The sessions, the classes are free. Okay. All of our services are free, except for the the actual testing. Okay. Um, but if they take a practice test with us in house, um, we and they pass it, make the, the minimum score, we'll pay for that. And okay. the reason why we say in house is because people will do it at home, but we don't know who did it at home. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so okay. therefore, we ask them to come to us and take it. Why is it important for students to have their uh, uh, high school equivalency? Oh, it opens many doors. Um, they're eligible to go to college, of course, better jobs, um, be able to get a job. Mm -hmm. And now one of the main things that, you know, in, in past years, the only thing that we did was get a high school equivalency and we were done. Now our ultimate goal is to help them to get a job. Okay. So we do, uh, when we first get them in our program, we do a class that's called Smart Start. Okay. And what it does is prepare them to, to get a job and be in the real world. Uh, we prepare them for career uh, exploration because many of them don't have an idea as to what they want to do. Right. We do team building exercises, communication. Um, Does that cost anything? No, everything is free. Okay, so Financial but they also literacy. have to register for it. Do they register on like Fridays with, as right. they're doing with the Once they get again? in the program, all of these services are free. Okay. Everything just comes with it. Excellent. We even do integrated educational training. Once they're in our program, they're eligible to take uh, college courses okay. while they're getting their high school equivalency. Really? Right. They are able to be in the healthcare assistance program, welding, or commercial truck driving. While they're getting their exactly. high school equivalency. Mm -hmm. That is a, a wonderful. So, yes, we pay for everything. That is wonderful. So it's now, is there what is is there an age limit? And what I mean by that, I know that that we have many adults returning. But how, uh, 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 is there an age that you have to be that age at least, 16, 17, to come and get your high school equivalency? Yes, you have to be 16 to come to our program. Okay. Um, because anybody younger, we don't, you know, so even though you we get So if you just drop out of, of high school and decide to come get your uh, high school equivalency, can we do that? Yes, you can. We okay. have to have parental consent. Okay. Um, you know, we don't encourage high schoolers to drop out by right, any means. Right. However, you know, for whatever reason that they're not in school and they're just out there in the streets or just hanging out or they've been expelled or whatever, we, we accept them. We'll take them. So, so we just come on and come to us. Yes. And I remember recently I saw, I'm trying to think of where I was, but it was a, an older woman. She was in her late 40s. And she was talking about getting her uh, uh, adult basic education. That she had, she had decided to come back, and she and she basically said she's like you know I've lived my life for everybody else. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted this, mm -hmm. and I had to leave. I think because you know she became a young mother, and she's like uh, you know, and you just just the look on her face. 
Yes. She is just so thrilled. It, you know, the, the, it's priceless. It's priceless. Um, the feeling that they have, the, uh, the, especially when they accomplish it, but just sometimes just coming, getting through the door mm -hmm. and getting there and to get started for something that they put off for so long for so many people uh, and just to get them in there to just let them know, you can do this. Mm -hmm. and so for us, it's just, it's very rewarding to, you know, quite naturally, you know, we don't make the world's most money, but it's, it's, it is the feeling that you get that you've touched a life. Mm -hmm. And by touching that life, it's going to change their life. Sure. And so, you know, it, it's just a good feeling. Well, that just with the high school equivalency, though, I, you know, I've noticed because uh, one of my uh, one of my kids recently was looking for a job, and you know, you've got to have that uh, high school high uh, your diploma or equivalence. You've got to uh, sometimes a lot of places want a little bit of college too. Mm -hmm. You they know, and, and they won't even look at you if you don't have these things. And so therefore, you know, even like I said with our program, with the Integrated Education Program, they are able to um, do get their high school equivalency, do that at the same time. And then for the others, we do, we offer them workforce training, right. basic electricity, basic welding. You know, I heard Loretta earlier talking about cake decorating. Yes. Because that in itself could get you a job at maybe one of the you bakeries. You give certifications for these things? Yes, we okay. give them certifications. Excellent. And again, we help them um, financially to pay for these classes. That is wonderful. Yes. So there's really no reason for you not to come and do this. No reason if at you all. Ha if you do not have your high school diploma, you need to get your behind over there right now. Yes. And see y'all and get this done. Fridays at 9 o'clock. Now, uh, everything else, anything else coming up that we need to know about? Well, for one thing, we have um, a transition specialist okay. on board, Rhonda Smith. Yes, um, I love Miss Rhonda. Yes, she does a great job at whenever they finish or whenever they're in the program, we try to help them set their goals. Good. And so we're just trying to make the students well-rounded and just get them acclimated into education realm and just, you know, so they can just get their feet wet and get started. Well, you know, when I first came here, you and I were in the same area, and I miss y'all so much because you know you how too. much I love, I, I love all of y'all that work yes. over there. But uh, I'm so glad you came on the show today. Thank you will you come back and see me? I sure will. Thank you for having me. Okay, next time we'll, we'll get, like, chocolate or something. What you Ooh, think? Oh, yes, that'll work. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined. I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings. Our students have been out and about getting all kinds of information. You'll see them around with all kinds of cameras and asking all kinds of questions. Please don't feed them. They're allergic to pitted fruit. Hello, this is Philip Moore, and today we are going to talk to Mr. Brandon DeWeese about the uh, new charging stations at MCC. I believe that one of the reasons that the charging stations are important are because we live in a society where everybody is attached to a mobile device of some kind, right? So when I heard about the grant that uh, Dr. Dr. Roberts wrote over in the Holiday Center and was able to secure those for us, I, it's a step towards being relevant to the student's life. Because we're all tied to a mobile device, it's important that a student be able to walk through the halls here at MCC and find the tools and the resources that they're going to need to be prepared for whatever their day looks like. And we've all been in a situation where you just forget your own charger or you wind up in a situation where you use more of your phone battery than you anticipated. And this is a small step, but a relevant step so that we are providing what our student body needs in order to make it through a regular day. It's, from what I've seen thus far with those stations, it appears that you can plug in iPhones, uh, you can plug in any phone that charges with a mini USB uh, I was really impressed to see that I believe there's a charging pad, and if you have a new enough iPhone, which I don't, you can just lay your phone on the pad and it charges automatically. I don't know what sort of wizardry is going on there, but uh, it appears to charge every device that you might be walking around with in your pocket. So they're located in Ivy Mall, in the Quave, and over in the Fitness Center. 
So students need a little need a little juice me up between classes. Those are the places they can drop by and find those. This is Philip Moore with MCC Today. The sixth annual Rails to Reels Film Festival will be arriving at the Temple Theater very soon. The festival will feature a variety of films from all over the country from New York to California and hopes to inspire young filmmakers to get out and follow their passions. For more information, I spoke to the festival's organizer, Thomas Burton. The uh, Rail to Reels Film Festival is a celebration of filmmaking, filmmakers, um, creativity. Um, we try to create a vibe within Mississippi um, with filmmakers and uh, artists and we give them a chance to uh, showcase their films at the Temple Theater and uh, the whole idea is like promote uh, community, uh, promote uh, any kind of vision, any kind of uh, positivity and uh, uh, the film festival brings that to our area. We're going to have uh, documentaries, um, we're going to have um, couple of narratives um, but like the main essence of the festival we have a good mixture of music videos really looking forward to show a film that features a character like similar to Jimmy Rogers called the music here and we also have a film called driven uh, which was shot in uh, North Mississippi on say Tupelo um, but it's been around the festival circuit and it's really gotten a good buzz. Thomas goes on to say how this film festival could help the community and downtown. We have like uh, Harvest Grill, Wyman's, and uh, Brick House. They provided a discount for anyone that buys a two day pass um, or any full block. Uh, two day pass is like $25 and each block 15 so when you take a break or uh, explore downtown, you know, you can go to the Max. Uh, if the Raleigh Center has something, you can go there. Um, and if there's any shops open, you can check those out. But like uh, Wyman's Brick House and Harvest Grill, they'll give you like a percentage off your uh, food and drinks for attending the film festival. But it's the main goal is to uh, get people to come downtown and support downtown and uh, see what's happening. The film festival will be on October 18th and 19th. For MCC Today, I'm John Knoll. Hello, my name is Philip Moore and I will be giving you your MCC update. The MCC Science, Wellness and Fitness Division is offering free water aerobic classes at the Damon F Fitness Center pool each Friday in October from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Please call 601-484 8763 to register or sign up at the fitness center. Save the date. The bookstore will be hosting their Christmas open house on Friday, November the 22nd, 2019 from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Last but not least, there are the scores from Tuesday night soccer games. The women lost to Pearl River Community College 9-1 and the men lost to Pearl River Community College 8-0. This is Philip Moore. Join us next week for your MCC update. Thank you for watching. On behalf of our producer Matt Milner, our consultant Josh Taylor, and our student producer Jabrisha Rush, we hope that you learned at least two things. If we did, or if you did, we've done our job.